Hey guys, grow the farm up. We are harvesting a little bit of late organic seed corn today. I got some comments and some various different discussions. You know, I've always said that I uh, farm GMOs, non-GMOs, and organic. I do them all because there's a marketplace for all of them. I'm not a non-GMO evangelist or an organic evangelist. I'm certainly not a GMO evangelist. I think it's up to individuals to make their own choices, but just wanted to show you how you can barely row the corn through the weeds. This is what organic production looks like uh, because there are no uh, herbicides that can be sprayed on them. And so large-scale organic production is very difficult to do and very difficult to keep weed weed free. Look at all of the weed seed that's being brought in with this corn that uh, you're going to plant next year. I mean, we'll process it and everything, but you know, you can you can only take out so many of these small seeded uh, palmer amaranth seeds and various other weed seeds. So. You know, all, all these different types of farming have their advantages and their disadvantages. This is one of the major disadvantages to large-scale organic production, and that is weed control. I just wanted to give you guys a quick grow the farm up minute, uh, as there's been some definitely uh, heated or, or should I say, very staunch opinions and some comments going one direction or the other, talking about organic or non-organic or GM, non-GMO. Uh, but you know, from the guy that's sitting in the cab here that does actually does it all, uh, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, I do it all, man. The non-GMO, organic and organic, and these are the drawbacks of uh, organic large-scale farming. So. Tell you what, I get back to work, grow the farm up.